Ladies and gentlemen, armorers and quartermasters, welcome back to Gunsmith. That's right. Uh, is that a technical term for somebody who stocks armories and stuff? I, I don't know. Um, I must confess, it's not a it's not a word that I usually have tucked away in uh, in my vocabulary. But anyway, welcome back. I'm Over the Potato. We now have a factory that makes flippin' bullets, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, yes it does. Yes, it does indeed. Now, this is only one type of, uh, of uh, a bullet that we've got at the moment. What is it? It's the... No, not that one. This one. Yeah, we've got the 9mm, and then we've also got the point. Four or five ACP as well. Uh, so that's pretty good. We are currently working through uh, large racks, which I just set up just before I, uh, I exited out of the game last time, just so that we would have something to immediately jump into, uh, into today. Anyway, the good news, the good news, folks, the good news is that we have got a blue... Again, the lighting in this room is super, super weird. Uh, we have got a fantastic blueprint, which is going to allow us to aggressively, aggressively make basic Buller machines. That's right, 35 objects. What the heck is up with this light? It's really freaky. Really, really freaky. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to basically just pop these down, like, to, uh, to, uh, to a pop. There we go. One over there, one over there. Can we squeeze in more over here? You bet your bottom dollar we can. You bet your bottom dollar we're going to do exactly that. Because this factory is going to be producing nothing but Buller. There we go. Okay, so just like that. Can we squeeze another one in here, actually, as well? Hmm. It's close. It's close. It's very close. It would really help if the game didn't, like, I don't know, completely change around the, uh, the color settings each and every time. No, okay. That's fine. Uh, but to be fair, I do actually think... I do actually think it would be entirely possible if we were to just sort of move the uh, the exit tray around a little bit, which I might do just for the sake of getting it done, actually. Okay, give me a, a single select, uh, or give me a group select, and we'll do this. We'll copy this part. We do not need as many batteries as we've got. Holy cow, I've just realized that I've been duplicating my batteries, which is... Uh, I mean, I would say a problem, to be honest. Let's add this to the blueprints, add that to the blueprint. Okay, duplicate this, duplicate this bit, put this bit over here. Excellent, nice, good stuff. Put that over there, wonderful. And then we just need to get whatever the heck this thing is, a boxer. And we're, we're an entrepreneur now. What the heck is happening? I keep on going up and down, corporate entrepreneur, etc., etc. Let's choose some more research because we are aggressively pursuing max level research pretty much uh, on everything. We are also going to see if we can try and get an explosives production license, which is very, very cool indeed. But there you go. We'll, uh, we'll, wait, to, we'll wait to see what the heck happens with this area first before we move on to the explosives production. That's right. Okay. A boxer. Sure. Is that in an appropriate configuration? It kind of isn't. Uh, okay. That is in a much more appropriate configuration. And then we just need to find an end of the line, to be honest. Is it worth us just going over to this end of the line? Uh, under normal circumstances, I would say yes. It probably is. Ooh. Interesting. The bullet boxer counts as a, an end of line bit of tech. Very interesting to note. Uh, so we'll get the boxing tech, and then we will get the end of line tech, which can go... Which can actually go here, as long as we've got some way to do that. Wonderful. Yeah, that's not looking, that's not looking too bad. Uh, we may very well have accessibility issues. Also, a million bucks in the bank. That's nice. We got an achievement. It's called Not Bad. All right. Excellent. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Now, it's time. Which, which, uh, which line groups did I end up, or which line, which lines, which lines currently have, uh, groups assigned? A couple, but not enough. Okay, so first of all, we're going to add a station. We're going to add a station over here. This station, recruit and assign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
Does that just work perfectly? I think that just works perfectly, to be honest. I think that that just works perfectly. I think that that just works perfectly. The only issue that we have, the only issue that we have, uh, and this is becoming a little bit of a consistent issue, is that our water production, or our water intake, and our gas intake both leave a lot to be desired. Uh, so that's a, that's a little bit of a pain in the backside, but we can rectify that, and we can rectify that relatively easily. Okay, so get that turned on. Now, that's kind of half the, half the story. So these three lines, no wait, hold up. One, two, three, four lines are all producing nine millimeter. However, we're not gonna want, we're not gonna want only nine millimeter production. I presume, I presume that at this moment in time, we... I've got a couple of orders for 9mm, but yeah, ACP bullets, whatever the heck that is, I've no idea what that uh, what that actually means. But we will get we will get some of these lines to actually work. Uh, to actually work producing other types of ammunition. Right, so recruiting a sign. Boom, 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 boom. Uh yep. I mean, so far, so good, right? I think it all it all seems to be working absolutely fantastically. So this section is all fine. This section, we just need to set the output to ACR, etc., etc. ACP, blah, blah, blah. This needs to be on ACP extruded. This needs to be on ACP punched. And this needs to be on brass roll. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Boot it on up, see if it uh, see if it works. Bullet topper, there we go. That needs to also be topped. Yeah, all right, wonderful. That's looking that's looking real good. What are we gonna do with all of this copious amount of cash that we've uh, that we've got? Well, the first thing that we should be doing is researching as much as we flip and can. What's our reputation looking like? Not good. Like, how on earth do I just get better reputation with the uh, with the gov? How is this? How is this not forthcoming? Also, I don't envy the employees' trek to the workstation over here. It's it's a big one. It's a big one. Is it even possible? I think it must be possible. Also, let's get rid of some of these like egregiously expensive to maintain batteries. Also, what's the issue up here? ACP extruded. Yeah, what's what's the concern? What's the concern here? Uh I I don't I don't see what the issue is. ACP extruded. Inputs. It needs to be oh, it needs to be hardened to level 2. Heat to level 2 then cool it down to 0. Right. Okay. Well, that makes things more challenging, I would say. That does make things slightly more challenging, because I was kind of anticipating that it would just be the same... It would be the same recipe for each different type of bullet, to be honest, but apparently not. Uh, wrong type of thing. We really need to improve our... our heating and cooling setup. That is... That is of prime concern. I mean, it's not, it's not a huge task to do this, but I guess it just shows, you know, the differences. Turn that on, turn that on, and then this needs to be assigned again to the desk. Thankfully, we've actually got, we've actually got a spare slot right there. Okay, so that should work a little bit better. There maybe will be other amendments that we need to make. ACP bullets... Yeah, heat to level 2. Cool from level 2 to 1. Ah, uh, okay. So, again, we're going to have an issue here. Also, this elevation is completely whack. Completely, completely whack. Shaken, then form, then... Okay, so it's it's the same, but we need to improve the cooling, to be honest. We, we very much need to improve the cooling. Right, pause again. Pause again. Pause again. So, this needs to be done like so then in fact you know what let's just bring it out this way bring it out this way bring it round another oh actually removes two levels of heating 
to be honest, it's slightly bigger and it's slightly better and it'll do just the trick. There we go. Removes two levels of heat, just like so. Does make it a little bit more finicky to get to there, but that's okay. Uh, actually, hold on. We need to elevate this over here, right? What if we elevate to this level there? Will they just sort of fall off the end? I don't know. I've never really used this elevated belt before. This is kind of this kind of new to me. All right. Uh, right. We need to demolish you. And uh, we need to go here. Add this. Power on. Excellent. All right. You still ain't got your hardened nonsense. Right. This is working just about as well as you could probably imagine it working. Uh, I.e., not not very, not not very well. It's it's not it it's not working. Okay. Whose stupid idea was it to design a shaker that was just slightly higher than the standard of absolutely everything else? That does seem highly, highly illogical, to be honest. But, okay, I guess if if we need to move it, then we need to move it. This worked last time, right? This worked last time where we just had... Where we just had it sort of tumble out of the cooler. I think I'm going to go for that approach again. Right. No. Here's the issue. There's a something in here. Don't know what it is. Or apparently there's not a something in there. We just can't stick anything in in that gap. Um all right. Fine, I guess. Sure. Now, this is this is for realsies. Shaker needs to be turned on. This has gotta work, right? It eventually will work, right? There's just going to be such a large backlog. It kind of works. It kind of works. It kind of works. Again, this shaker is flipping stupid. Okay, there is, there is going to be a lot of wastage if I don't fix this. Okay, this is... Very, very irritating. Very, very, very irritating. So we can't go... We can't go up by two meters. We've already seen that that didn't really work. But maybe it'll work slightly better now, now that I'm sort of not coming at it from an angle. Maybe, but probably not. Probably not. You know what? We can but hope. We can but hope. Okay. Okay. Paul, unpause and go. Demolish, demolish, demolish. It works flawlessly. It works absolutely flawlessly. Completely fine. Completely fine. No issues whatsoever. Brilliant. Well, that's that's just fantastic. Just, just excellent. Okay. Is that giving us what we're after? I think that, that should be giving us what we're after. Now, that's annoying because that is a very similar blueprint, but yet ever so slightly different. So that leaves us with, what, three lines that we can just do whatever the heck we want to do. Also, I hear something. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? What's the issue? What's the issue here? Item cues? Does it need to be heated to two levels? Oh, hold up. Does it need to be heated and then not cooled? Harden, shake in the waste. Bullet capper and former. That's that. Yeah, I mean, this is... Heat level plus one, heat level plus one. This is all turned on. This is all turned on. Yeah, I mean, this is fine, I think. And yet, it still doesn't register as... Oh, is the shaker perhaps turned off? Ah, the shaker's turned off. My bad. The shaker is is a funny one, because it doesn't actually look like it's shaking, even when it is turned on. I don't know what the point of a shaker is. I'm sure there's a very good one. I'm sure there's a very good reason that it exists as a tool. But there we go. Okay, so we've actually we've actually just managed to get another, another, uh, another type of bullet research, which is kind of incredible. Alright, 205. Nice. Keep on, keep on keeping on. 
I now know that if I just research the license, I get all of this stuff. So let's not faff around with that. Let's just keep on researching different types of bullets. Absolutely. Okay. So I think that we should probably get another... Probably get another... Uh, do... Give me a shift drag here. Yep. And then that one, that one, and that one. Nice. Okay, so we're actually going to just plop this down right over here if we can. Although, unfortunately, I'm going to have to demolish a couple of bits and bobs beforehand. No issues there. And then we come back here. We drag over there. Bish, bash, bosh. Yeah. You know what? I do like the blueprint system in this game. It is, it is like a core mechanic. It's very good. I do like it. All right. So that's been duplicated, which means that this area is now going to be equipped solely for ACRP. ACP. I have no idea what it even means, to be honest. I don't even know. I just like the processes. ACP. 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 Cool. All right. So give me a station. Let's immediately start work on that. Station. Worker required. Wait, hold up. Why do we not have a worker here? How, how do we not have somebody... How do we not have somebody coming in here? Is it an access issue? It could very well be an access issue. There's a worker that is grumpily complaining that they can't get through here now. Hmm. Yeah. So, um... That might be a problem. Right. Let's let's see if I can try and get a walkway over here. He can as well. He can as well. Okay. That is... An optimistic sign. Or is it an optimistic sign? It's kind of an optimistic sign. All right, let me let me see if we can try and sort out a, a worker's walkway. Oh, it's so close to working. It's so close to working. Is there perhaps an easier place that I could do this? I can't get between here. Can I, like, place down... No, I can't place down benches over here. So they have to get in this way. This should be totally accessible, actually. I don't even know why... I don't know why anyone's complaining, to be honest. Come through here. Come through here. Up here. Around here. Maybe this was the issue? But we can do something like that and then move that across. Yeah, that might make things a little bit more accessible. Yeah, or it might not. I mean, it might end in disaster, to be honest. Might end in flipping disaster. Okay. Demolish this, but be very careful. We don't end up demolishing super important structures. There we go. Excellent. Do we have the ability... No, 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 no. Do not demolish that. Do we have the ability to make these work? Recruit and assign. Recruit and assign. Did we just not have workers working in these places? There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, but whatever, I guess. Okay, so this is still... This is still on 9mm production. That's fine. No big deal there. It's now 100% accessible, right? Right? Can you get through here? You distinctly do not look like you can get through here. Uh. You know what? Can I just bunch all of these buildings up? Oh, wait. Now you can get out here. Okay, have I I might have I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Okay, here's what I want to do. Flip you around there. Excellent. 
flip that in there. Okay, so that looks promising. Very, very promising indeed. It's fine. And then... That goes up there. Move this across a little bit. And we should still have plenty of space here. We should still have plenty of space. Excellent. Okay, so now those two workers can get to their stations, which is excellent. Okay, so this area is already ready to start. And this is whatever it is, AC, ACRP. There we go. We know that we're going to have exactly 16 machines over here. Excuse me. There we go. So we know that we're going to have 16 machines. Get them all turned on. And I think it should all just be set to work. So here's open. Here's open. It's all good. Now, this area over here. Oh, have I been researching this whole time? No, I haven't. So we still have like two other types. Two other types of bullets to produce. What's the way that this is manufactured? The, the NATO thing. Uh, duh, duh, duh. okay. So, it's four levels of heat? Four levels? Oh, 0.22 LR. That's three heat levels? Right. Okay, I think before we go much further, before we go much further, it's probably worth us seeing if we can try and get two lanes, and we'll cool two items. Cool by two levels. Uh, okay, so we're still actually going to need... We're still actually going to need a combination of heaters in order to make this system work. Hmm. I mean, that's not necessarily a problem. It just makes things a little bit more complex. I guess, you know, you could say that that is the point of this whole game. Is to slowly but surely get more complex over time. I'm just wondering, is it worth us seeing if we can try and get our second heater machine before starting work on this area? Goodness gracious me, the lighting is so bad. How are we doing order-wise? I mean, 1.3 million. And that's only selling to customers that actually we want to improve. Yeah. It's very good. It's very, very good, actually. It's very, very good. Look at this. Jerry flippin' loves us. Honestly? Glad to have you on board, Jerry. I'm, I'm glad that you're thus far, anyway. Happy with your service. We aim to please. Alrighty. Again, the lighting is horrific. Right, so that's heating up two levels. Let's get ourselves a third level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay, and then we need to do... Ugh, we're gonna need to do... It's gonna be very, very tight for space, actually. Might be worth us seeing if we can try and loop back on ourselves here. You know what? Let's actually double down. Let's do this out here. I think that's still enough space to walk through. It's a little bit type, uh, tight, but that's okay. Right, start production on the heater machine. We can get this replaced, or we can get two of these replaced with one. Then this goes in here. Then this goes in here. Which is apparently an illegal maneuver for some obscene reason. Why is this an illegal maneuver? Is it because they're next to the heating, uh, the heating machines? All right, I, I can try and fix that. No promises that it'll actually work, though. Right, then we get a cooling machine out here, which is apparently completely okay. The shaker is always a problem because we need to elevate to get to the shaker, if you'll recall. Boy, oh boy. Actually, you know what? We don't need to elevate to get to the shaker. The reason that we don't need to elevate with the shaker is that, if you'll recall, when we originally used the cooling machine, it worked flawlessly. 
So as long as we have the cooling machine sort of like feeding directly off the end of it, we should be completely fine. We should be completely fine. Hmm. <laughs> Move this because I'm just not convinced that it's conducive to actually allowing people to pass. Move it up here somewhere. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Shaker, shaker, shaker. You are the tricksy bit here in this whole puzzle. Alright. New plan. New plan. New plan. Let's double back on ourselves yet again. Right? Raise belt two meters. Does that even work? I don't think that works, actually. I think that might work but barely. Right, let's move this all the way up to like there. Yeah, fine. Just, you know, place it and forget about it. Elevate this and then bring bring this as tightly as we possibly can back around to here, which then It's fine. I'm not angry video game, just disappointed. There was a great suggestion actually in the comments which I uh which I thought was really, really good. And it was uh, it was the suggestion to work backwards. And I thought that was a very astute observation and something which I would love in practice to take on board. But as it turns out, I'm not very good at either planning or foresight. And therefore, uh, it might not be happening for a little while. It might not be happening for a little while. But certainly, whenever I can, I'll do my best to try and build backwards. Okay. LR bullets, whatever the heck they are. I, I I don't know. Right, recruit and assign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, okay, fine. And then you can do 17. And you can do 18. So as long as we turn these on manually, it should be fine. We did get a better heater, which I know we could throw in there. But, I mean, look, at the end of the day, doesn't really make altogether too much of a difference to me. What the heck does that brass wheel even do? I, I don't even know. How are we doing for, for brass wheels, actually, for brass rolls? Not bad. The good news is that this factory consumes brass rolls, cellulose, and nitric acid, and that's it. To be honest, it's kind of great. It's kind of great. I'm kind of happy about it. Uh, we do have rather a large number of missions. Repair missions, that is. Which I would uh, appreciate if they were perhaps achieved slightly more quickly. Do we actually have mechanics over in uh, in this factory? I thought I placed mechanics, but I may be misremembering. Maybe we don't have a single mechanic. I definitely placed shelving units. Maybe we don't have mechanics. Okay, well this is a... I would describe as a pretty big problem, to be honest with you. What are you? Line control worker? Okay. Staff management... Yeah, we straight up do not have any mechanics. I guess that must have been two, three, four, five, six. I guess that must have been um, at the last factory, which is fine. Okay, so that is pretty much every type of bullet that we have access to. Uh, with the exception of what, two? Yeah, so we don't have, we don't have 7.6. Oh, no, wait, hold up. We've just done LR. We don't even have NATO yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. What are you... What's your problem? You can make it all the way to your, to your desk. Come on. It's not that difficult. Not that difficult at all. 
Uh, right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna do the easy thing. We're gonna do the easy thing. We're gonna grab a brand new workstation over here. Go to the station. Assign uh, different workers to this. And what we are gonna do is we are just gonna do nine millimeter production. That's right. We can't power it on apparently because we are out of water. To be fair, to be brutally honest, I feel like this factory has just about served its purpose. Like, we are pretty close to capacity on this factory, uh, I think. Capacity, by the way, in terms of space, not in terms of anything else. Uh, so yeah, that's probably, probably gonna be fine for us. What are the orders coming in as? Uh, and also, have we done any research? Do we have to do any research? We should do some research. Can't do that. Almost ready to do explosives. Let's do... Do this. Cool. Alright, so. So, 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 so. What are the orders after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the orders after? Active orders. We don't have any at the moment. We don't have any favorable... Yeah, we straight up do not have any favorable orders. But we can pretty much fulfill everything here. Which is... Which is fine. Alright, let's... Let's check off a couple of orders. Just because we need to free up a little bit of space here. What's up with you? What's up with you? Ah. 9mm, I think, right? Yeah, fine. Should work? Should work. Excellent. Okay, keep on checking off a couple of a couple of different bits and bobs. Nothing particularly important to consider. It this is probably going to make our reputation with the U.S. go down a little bit. But to be honest, we don't really have an option. Yeah, we're down to one nine five. We don't have an option. We have to sell. We have to sell to. We have to sell who to ever to whoever we can, unless we want to reject an order. All right, let me will execute when conditions are not met. Now, let me add an extra order. So it's going to be a reject order, and we are going to reject ordering organization, and we're going to go for... Yeah, Russian gov, Chinese gov. Save that? Okay. So does that mean that we're now going to be able to... We're now going to be able to reject orders much more quickly? And therefore, we will be able to get more orders coming in? What do you think about... What does the US Gov think about the... Unknown. Rivals unknown. Okay. So the UK government as well, I think... We're okay to sell to. Automation rules. Reject order. Who else do we want to reject from? Cole Moschin? I don't think anyone cares about him. But you know what? Let's let's do to both of those. Unknown as well. Let's reject. Let's auto-reject unknown. Perhaps maybe a risky maneuver. But, but that's okay. AIT. Which apparently is something. I don't know what it is actually AIT yeah no not not really sure what this is a young upcoming dealer okay all right all right i guess i guess it's okay to deliver to him AIT sure let's do it and so yeah that'll clear things up U.S. police forces as well. We we should definitely be good to do that. In fact, I already... Yeah, we already do. We already do. Ah, the only issue is that we don't... We don't technically have the production at this moment in time. Okay, so, yeah. Auto-rejected. Easy-peasy. Lemon-squeezy. Wonderful. I do want to see if we can try and get more orders coming in, though. Because I feel like we're not really doing a good job of shifting all of this... Shifting all of this junk. Yeah, okay. So, AE bullets, I still have no idea what that is. 
how is it this dark? How is it this dark whenever I rotate? I, I, I simply do not understand. We've got a couple of roving mechanics who can't seemingly find their way to a desk. Do I have to bring... Do I have to bring the desks over here? I do, apparently. No toolkits. Recovering tools. Excellent. Let's hope your pathing is slightly better. Anyway, this is a pretty good factory. I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, what is our... What is our number of boxed? 9 millimeter. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Do I want to blueprint everything? I think I kind of do, to be honest. Because this is a pretty good ratio. To be honest with you. Can I? No. Yeah. Drag select. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sometimes it doesn't want to drag select, but that's okay. I think that that's pretty much picked up absolutely everything. So we're going to save this as a new blueprint. Buller. That's not even how you spell Buller. Buller everything. Right. Excellent. Buller everything. 339 or 337 objects, which is excellent. Move this blueprint to the local branch. I, I don't particularly care about that. I honestly feel like maybe we just get a new ca a new factory and then just place this down. The only problem is, is that we don't duplicate we don't duplicate we don't duplicate stations which is what is absolutely infuriating. But that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, what I think we should do is I think we should go and pick ourselves up a brand new factory. Do we want to build a factory somewhere else? Uh, we could do that. We could do that. We could definitely do that. In the UK? Access information about all factories in this country. What does that mean? I, why would we not do it in the States? I, I, I don't know. Like, if we've chosen the States as, like, our starting country, we might as well just commit to it. Alright. Buller everything. So this... Should be able to go here. However, what I'm going to do... I'm going to just demolish all of this. Demolish what I can. Plus $292,000. How did I get that? I don't deserve that. Almost certainly don't deserve that. Right. So. It's going to be a little bit challenging to place. But we should definitely be able to find the... I saw it. F for a moment there. That's it. All right. $289,000 to do that. Okay. Now, this doesn't spawn any workstations in, which is fine. Because what we need to do is we need to tweak. We need to tweak a couple of workstations. In fact, it might even be worth us. It might even be worth us. Deleting what we just did, which I know sounds obscene because I just spent $280,000 on it. However, we're going to need to get a different blueprint in order to make some of these some of these additional ammunitions. Uh, let's research this, sure. What's our what's our happiness? 224. We're close. We're painstakingly close. We've got frankly zero available orders. But we're working on it. Okay. 50 AE bullets. I don't know what that is. I I, I really do not. Okay. 0.5 AE. Right. Do we want to start do we want to do NATO rounds first? No, you know what? Let's just jump straight to 50 AE or whatever the heck, uh, whatever the heck it's called. I should do NATO. I should do NATO first. I should do NATO first because otherwise I'm just going to forever forget it. Forget about it. Okay. So we literally just need to heat to max level here as much as we possibly can. Right. Heater mark two. We're literally going to need to get two of these. Right? Boom. Boom. Of course, it doesn't actually work like that because we can't put heaters next to each other for some obscene reason. Reached corporate again. Again, for some reason. Not really sure why. That's okay. This is a double cooler, so one side cools by 
one level and the other side cools by two levels. Which I think I'm okay with, to be honest with you. Not like it particularly matters. You know what, this is the incorrect way of doing this. The correct way of doing this. Demolish this. I think I just need to double down on the whole demolishing stuff. Because I got plenty of dosh now. I was unbelievably close to bankruptcy previously. Now, however, I'm on a winner. I'm on a winning streak. Right, double heater. Then double cooler. Hmm. You know what? It's more simple than that. It's more simple than that. Double cooler. And then this just pops out at the end here. Yeah. This pops out at the end here. We raise. Raise belt. Which is an illegal maneuver, apparently. Can we build through here? Okay, that's not allowed. That's frustrating as all heck. Uh, fine. There we go, it's okay. My patience is being tested, but that's fine. Okay, that goes in there. Excellent. So this should give us plenty of clearance. Ooh, he says with a degree of optimism. Kinda works, kinda works, kinda works. Goes in there. That comes out of there, wonderful. We got a heat machine level 2, which is nice. We're, we're not going to worry about that too, too much for now. But maybe for the next blueprint that I uh, that I want to get in here. Okay, and then this, 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 this. Booyah, it's brilliant. Is there still access? Hmm, questionable. But there is definitely access around here. Around the uh, around the south side. So that's, that's nice. Okay. Now, here's my concern. My concern is that we are not going to have enough capacity in a single workstation to zone all the machines to this line. Yeah, and indeed, I was proven correct, which is uh, a bit of a pain in the backside because there is no way that we can expand our station capacity anymore. So, there we go. All right. There we go. We are, we are manufacturing... Not the right type of bullet. NATO. 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 And... NATO. Then it gets boxed up accordingly, which is grand. Will it work smoothly? Your guess is as good as mine. Frankly, zero idea... If it's if it's gonna work, zero idea if it's gonna work. Okay, let's actually yeah, let's do the unthinkable. Do the unthinkable. Let's get a nice big hefty refund for this. We might crest above two million again. Yeah, let's do that. The reason that I want to do that is because I do want to try and get another blueprint, literally the exact same. And I know that if we do it like this, it's just going to be a heck of a lot easier to... There we go. Uh, move this. Yeah, move that over there. Cool. Right, so throw down an additional two blueprints. I have blueprint stations. What am I talking about? Two workstations. There we go. Recruit and assign, recruit and assign. One, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Did I miss something? I almost certainly did. The shaker, of course, because the shaker is really difficult to click on. Uh, there we go. Turn on. Wonderful. Okay. So that is two that is two lines of NATO production, which is which is pretty nice. Uh you'd think that that would be an in-demand, an in-demand type, but apparently, apparently it's not. 
Apparently it's not. I just don't understand why I'm getting so few orders. Like, I, I appreciate that I used to be maxing out my orders, but now I'm absolutely not maxing out my orders. I am absolutely not maxing out my orders. Okay, so that's, so that's, so that's that. Nice. So, let's take this up as well. Which, again, bit of a pain in the backside, but whatever. Right. And then, I'm going to have a little look at the cookbook. And we're going to see what we need for 7.62. It's the same as NATO. Right? Primer. Yeah, we got a primer in here, right? That's a topper primer. Yep. Okay, so that's actually brilliantly the same as NATO, which means that we just straight up need to copy this, throw this down over here, which should be possible. Might be possible if we exclude... Uh, how do we control deselect? There we go. Might be possible if we exclude the mechanics workstation, and indeed it is. Excellent. All right, this can also get demolished because, frankly, we don't need any more batteries. We got plenty, loads and loads and loads of batteries. Right. So two additional groups: add station there, add station there. Recruit and assign. Recruit and assign. Yeah, I should probably try and fix up a staff room or something. You know, just somewhere to have some snacks. How is it so difficult to click on this thing? It really should not be that difficult. Yeah, I'll fix up a snack room so that the workers don't leave immediately. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's literally just this line here. That machine right there. The single dryer. Excellent. And instead of 9mm, it needs to be 6.62 punched. Yeah. Wait, hold up. Did that... Uh, NATO punch. NATO extrude. Okay, cool. I was just checking to make sure that that didn't say 9mm, because I thought it did for a microsecond. 6.7.62. I'm so bad at saying these things. Alright, 7.62... 7.62. I think that's it. I think that's absolutely it. Okay, so then we probably just want to get a... We probably just want to get a single line. A single line. I'm acutely aware, by the way, that this is probably the least efficient way that anyone could ever make a factory. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm aware. But it helps clarify in my mind exactly what I want to do. Right, so then we're going to just copy... In fact, do we want to just copy two over? Kind of do, to be honest. Okay, it's going to mess up the walk routes again, which no doubt will cause some consternation amongst the employees. That's okay. All right, delete all this. And then delete that as well, because again, we still don't need it. We will soon. Very, very soon. Okay, and then we do this this and then copy all this deselect this and that nice okay just double checking that all of that is duplicatable and now the struggle comes the struggle comes. Oh, okay, so I, I included this, and I included this, neither of which I actually want to be, neither of which I actually want to be in the blueprint. So just go all over here. Yep, great. Don't include any of the edge stuff, because the edge stuff makes it so much more difficult to place down. And if you're not careful, it's super duper easy to just slip into the blueprint. Okay, there we go. Deselect that. Duplicate up over here. Yeah, just like that. It's much easier. Right. So there's still a walk route. There's still a walk route through here. I'm not saying that people are going to be happy about it, but, you know. 
workers being happy is not my primary concern. My primary concern is, of course, making cash. Many, 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 many millions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, man, that's so unbelievably irritating. Right. Power that all up. Excellent. You go in there. Excellent. That gets powered up. And then that is making what? NATO punched. And then this is already equipped to make... Yeah, 7.62 extruded, actually. So that's what? 1, 2, 3 doing NATO punched. 7.62 extruded. The other two lines. That's that's nice. That's nice. That in there. That in there. Bear in mind, by the way, that this is our second bullet factory. Which seems like obscene, actually. Given that we just unlocked bullets, what, in the last episode, I think? It's kind of ridiculous. Kind of ridiculous to consider. Is that the shaker that I've missed again? You bet your bottom dollar that it's the shaker I've missed again. Again, proving to be an impossibility to click. You need to click on the side for some obscene reason. No idea why. Absolutely zero idea why. Okay, so that's going to make the 7.62 punched. Doesn't seem like people are that bothered about bullets, to be honest. Like, we are fine for bullets. ACP bullets, they're occasionally being used. LR bullets, that's fine. We'll have them soon. Don't you worry about it. How's our reputation doing? Our reputation is great, actually. Holy cow. Okay, three days until we can get our explosives production license. So that's going to be great. In the meantime... Man, I wish I could just demolish an area. That would be really nice. ACP punched. And what does this area do? 9mm punched? And this does LR. I actually want to keep both of these lines. So, you know what? Let's keep both of these lines. Let's ditch this line over here. Because I really don't think that we're going to need any more 9mm. Because I think we've probably got enough of that. I'll probably just settle for about... About this size of factory. We'll leave this area open so that in future workers don't end up getting super, super irritated with me. Right. Recruiting assigned. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's an even 16. Excellent. And recruiting a sign, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. We're going to need to get one more flipping station, which is infuriating, in a sense, in a word. Right, nice. So that's good, right? Oh, 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 oh. Here's the question. Yeah, we have no brass rolls. This whole entire time, we we don't have a single brass roll coming through. Yeah, because I kind of used them all up in like the first, I don't know, couple of seconds of opening this factory up. Kind of makes sense why we haven't been making any money. Now that I think about it. Market station, tool station. Give me some mechanics. Four, five, six. Give me some staff table area. Nice. Plasma television. Everyone happy? Everyone happy. Everyone very happy. No plasma television for you, but that's alright. I do love how they play actual videos on the, uh, on the plasma TV. Like, that's a genuine video that somebody has gone out and taken about foxes. I hope it's not copyright. Otherwise, I could be in for a, an awful surprise. Anyway, we got our market manager. Well, no, technically we've got our market desk. We don't actually have our market manager. There we go. Grab you. Do I have a market manager, market order manager at the old place? All right. Give me a thousand. A thousand of these. $270,000 on them. 
thousand of those and a thousand of those nice okay automation rules active on negative funds brass roll quantity a hundred when value is less than a hundred less than or equal to yeah we're not messing around here we are straight up big time big time buyers now we could maybe look to squeeze out a little bit of profit on the price, but to be honest, I don't think the system the system is super intuitive. I mean, it's intuitive enough. I understand. I get it. Don't get me wrong. We, we use it about as much as we can to automate pretty much everything. There we go. Automation interval five seconds. Why would you have long automation intervals? I don't get it. Maybe it costs more to check regularly. I don't know. Doesn't make sense. Uh, we are still exactly where we want to be. Maybe I could instantly become a warlord. Is that a thing that I could do? Order value increased by 40%. Staff wages increased by four, uh, by 15%. To be honest, I kind of like the fact that the maintenance cost discount of 20% is applied when you are the best boy in the world. That makes me happy. I do like that. Yeah, okay, so how are the orders doing? LR. Is that the only one that I haven't thus far got? No, I haven't got 55 something something. Because I've got the point seven twos over there. Yeah, 72 extruded and NATO over here. And more 72 extruded over there. So we got two belts of everything, with the exception of with the exception of 0.5 something. Right. Now, if we were to do these, we'd need to go through six heat levels, which is fine, which is completely fine. However, the slight problem is, is that we would certainly have to do that in a new factory. So I think that we're going to try and do that right now. Now, this is going to be our last bullet factory. There is no way that I'm going to get more. And if I do, I'm just going to, you know, plonk them down off camera. And, you know, we don't have to, you know, mess around with this. Also, I didn't have any shelves in the last place. Hindsight may be a bit of a problem. Okay. Give me a buller machine. Now, we got to make sure that we're a little bit careful with this. Because... We need six heat levels over here. So let's immediately get right into here and start demolishing. Now, can I use... Explosives production, one day left. Nice. Can I use my brand new heater? I would very much like to do that. So, what does this do? A heater that heats up plastic and other materials. A Mark II heater with two lanes. Add two, adds two levels of heating. Right, so I mean, in my mind... In my mind, what we do is we do something like this. Okay, that's allowed. Didn't realize that would be allowed. Do something like that. And then... I was waiting to see if it was possible to perhaps do... Like, two rounds... But I don't think it, I don't think it is unless we want to like cross over the belts and stuff. But to be honest, that just doesn't seem worth it. So, you know what? Maybe this is just a, a wasted endeavor. Yeah, let's let's stick with the let's stick with the classic. So we're gonna need to get three of these, which is ridiculous. But, you know, whatever. So cool it up, heat it up, cool it up. No, heat it up, cool it down. That's right. Heal it up, cool it down. Spin it back around, raise it back up, and then shake it out. Right. This is not an efficiently designed setup. I can't see what I'm doing. Not an efficiently designed setup at all. But you know what? It's fine. It's no big deal. Excellent. Right. Going to add a station. And I'm going to add another station. Because I know. I know. I just know. One, two. 
Hey, we got it. Look at that. Wiring machine, chemical separator, explosive form, and TNT. How exciting is that? Okay, great. Well, we're going to proceed to that in the next episode, of course, because I feel like this is quite a natural end point. But before we do, I just want to make sure that I get absolutely everything set up over here accordingly. Get that all set up. Good stuff. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three. Turn them all on, please. Wonderful. Okay. Make sure this is reassigned to be the proper stuff. 0.5 AE extruded. 0.5. Is this a 50 cal? Is this a 50 caliber? I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. All right, so that that is looking that is looking good. That is looking great. Now, before we finish up here, I want to buy three mechanics, six mechanics, market manager. There we go. Mechanics table, market manager's table, market manager, brass roll, buy a bunch, buy a bunch, buy a bunch, automation rules, bish, bash, bosh. 100 rolls of brass. If we have less than, well, less than or equal to 100. Cool. Five second nitric acid, 100. Less than or equal to, I don't know why you would do anything else, to be honest. Duplicate, I should, yeah, I should just be duplicating this. Sulfuric acid, is that the one? Actually, is that what I need? Nitric acid. No, I need cellulose. That's that's what I need. Yeah, there we go. Bit of a difference there, but that's okay. Automation turned on. That's good. So we should be grand going forwards. We should be grand going forward, and we should be able to dispense all of the stuff that we need, which is kind of wonderful, to be honest. Now, before we wrap this up, though, I'm going to real quick duplicate another thing over here. Because I want to make sure that we can always supply every type of ammunition. So, to me, that says, hey, we need two belts of every single type of ammunition. Maybe that's a little bit over the top. And to be fair, the finances have... I mean, they peaked at the start of the episode. What can I say? They peaked at the start of the episode. Uh, and now we no longer have... Okay, we need water and electricity for that. Now we no longer have as much money as perhaps we did have. But that's okay. There we go. That was a pretty inefficient way of doing that. But that's okay. Fine. There. There, 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 there. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. So, 0.5 punched. Yeah, that's everything. That's everything. That's absolutely everything that we possibly can make. 0.5 AE bullets. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, so it's going to take a little while for this for this area to come online. And I would suspect, yeah, that most... TNT. Ooh, interesting. I would suspect that most people are going to be interested in this latter type of bullet. Mostly just because we've just brought it online right now. But it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to producing it in much larger quantities in the next episode. If indeed we do need it. But, uh, but I think other than that, we're going to be moving on to explosives uh, in the next episode. For absolutely certain. Let's pick a little bit of research just to do before we go. Uh, pistol production license. Ooh, goodness gracious me. Uh, that sounds exciting. Let's let's do let's do rack stacking just to bring us back down to earth for a second. We'll do rack stacking, and then as soon as our trust gets uh, above 280, we will do pistol production, which is very very cool indeed. Right, ladies and gents, thank you very very much for watching this episode of uh, of Gunsmith. My name, of course, has been Obed the Potato. Check out the Patreon if you're uh, if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. Thanks to my three twenty-five dollar tier patrons, uh, Banana Nanana, C Senpai, and Aurelio. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you next time. Bye.